Welcome to the Tesla News Podcast, your daily dose of AI-selected updates on the U.S. carmaker. Tesla's Q1 profits down 24% amid price cuts. Tesla reported a slump in Q1 profits, which fell 24% due to multiple price cuts made by the company to stimulate sales. Though overall sales increased during the first quarter, each sales profit decreased as a result of these reductions. The company's decision to cut thousands of dollars off the price of their vehicles has raised concerns among analysts, fearing this strategy might lower their already reduced profit margins. The drop in net income was also seen with a drop in Tesla's operating profit margin, falling from 19.2% to 11.4%, yet revenue increased 24% to $23.33 billion. CEO Elon Musk has stated that the company still wishes to sell as many vehicles as possible to create revenue through software, service, and their full self-driving system. Full self-driving system. Quality and safety concerns. Questions have been raised about the quality of Tesla's full self-driving technology, with Osborne of TD Cowan expressing concern as older hardware relies on camera-only technology. Additionally, the system's name has been considered misleading as it is not fully functional and still requires human intervention. National highway regulators have questioned the safety of the system, scrutinizing Tesla's partially automated driving systems. Over 30 crashes since 2016 have occurred involving Teslas suspected of operating on autopilot or the full self-driving systems. The Justice Department has also requested documentation from Tesla about these programs. Cybertruck production and delivery event in Q3 2023 Elon Musk announced a delivery event for the long-awaited Cybertruck, set to take place in Q3 2023. Cybertruck manufacturing will begin this summer, but mass production will not start until the following year. The delay could stem from the vehicle's expensive stainless steel construction and unique design, requiring specialized welding procedures and custom components. The event may only deliver a few vehicles to Tesla insiders, with consumer deliveries potentially occurring months later. Updated prices and specifications will be revealed at the Q3 event, as prices are unlikely to match initial 2019 estimates. Tesla has also announced a new quad motor configuration for the Cybertruck. Tesla Energy's growth and future developments Tesla Energy's battery storage deployments saw a 360% YoY increase in Q1 2023, aided by the Megafactory in Lathrop, California, with room for further growth before reaching full capacity. Tesla has announced the construction of a second 40 gigawatt hours megafactory in Shanghai, set to begin later this year. Elon Musk has stated Tesla Energy could become larger than the company's automotive business, as stationary storage growth is already surpassing automotive growth. Analyst reactions and share impact. Analysts have responded to Tesla's Q1 results with varied opinions. Wells Fargo reduced their price target from $190 to $170, and Oppenheimer expressed concern about near-term margin pressure. Wedbush's Daniel Ives reduced the price target from $225 to $215 due to margin softness, suggesting a delicate balance between margin pressure and driving strong Model Y, 3 volume. Tesla shares fell 7% in pre-market trading following this news. Other car companies, including Ford and General Motors, have also been impacted by Tesla's price cuts. The company is playing a long game, believing the lifetime value of a new customer outweighs the lost revenue from price cuts. This is all for today. Tune in tomorrow for more updates and don't forget to like and subscribe. Although hopefully of informative value, the purpose of this video is entertainment and not any kind of advice, especially not investment advice. The content is AI generated and hence potentially contains errors. Links to articles for further reading on the discussed topics are provided in the video description.